Hi. Hello. How are you, Chris? I'm fine. What about you? Well, Raúl is here. Hi, Raúl. How Hi, are Raul. you? Double is, jeopardy today. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's really strange. Okay, so I put it closer. How are you today? Yes, you are the first one. Of course, Raúl. How are you? Tell us something. Yeah, say something, <laughs> Raúl. Please. <laughs> I'm going to use the chat as well. I have my chat here. <laughs> Maxi, how are you? Ah, yeah, Hello, that's Maxi. Okay. Well, so we so, can start a little bit. Yeah. We can start by telling uh, our viewers what we need in order oh, to... Oh, yeah. To get their materials and well, hi Eddie, how are you? Us, yes, Eddie, Eddie is here too. Hi Eddie, welcome. So so far we can talk in Spanish. <laughs> ah okay. Because we have a Spanish audience. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so far, that's what I mentioned some of my viewers yesterday when I was recording and then I released the video. I yeah. Told them, we might we might switch to Spanish because if we have yeah. got people from <laughs> Spain or from Latin America, they are going to be like, okay, why are they still speaking in English? Yeah. Hi, Anne. How are you? And Barbara is here too. Welcome, okay. welcome. Hi, Anne. Hi, Barbara. Chris was about to tell about the materials we need for today. That's right. Yeah. Well, first of all, you can use a uh, normal modern clay. I don't have any here with me, unfortunately, because I cleaned everything yesterday. I just have a small little bit. But you can use modern clay, normal one. So it's okay. just a little bit. And of course, this one doesn't harden as much as other clays. But you can add a little bit of white glue and you can add it in small bits and it will harden and later you can varnish. So this is one option if you don't have anything to work with. Okay. You can use uh, clay, the normal air clay. dry. Yeah, the air dry clay. So, yes. you know, but that one you have to wet your hands and use it, let it dry for yes. 24, uh, 48 hours probably. But that's another option. Uh, one that is really, really nice, it's this one. That here in Mexico is called Foamy. It's made of plastic. So it's not really used for, uh, for kids. It's for kids over four years old. And the good thing is that this one dries with air after some time. But it's ideal to use a complete package once you open it, because even with the seal, it starts getting uh, hard and hard and hard. And well, even uh, if you add water, it doesn't help. Well, this one. Chris, I have another experience with the forming foam that it's uh, almost the same. And I have also in uh, envelopes like you. Mm -hmm. And I use it, I close it, and maybe even uh, weeks after that, it's okay. It's not uh, dry. And maybe it's another brand that it's maybe... Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, this one is local, hi, it's Marta. Mexican. Marta is here too. Oh, yeah. Hi, Stacy as well. Come on in. Hi, Marta. Hi, oh, Stacy. Stacy. How are you? Yeah, I think the packaging has a lot to do, you know. I think the containers yeah. that you have are much better than this plastic. That's Might why be. this one hardens Might so be. fast. Yes. My, it's called eye clay when it comes in envelopes like that. And I have now this one I purchased in Amazon. I purposely put it here because this is the one that all, all, uh, all people could reach. Okay. This Excellent. is in Amazon. It's a Dli. It's a, no, Dli. It's a bucket. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And 
I have uh, not much left, but I did use it. It's very good. What I purchased uh, here locally are two brands, these two brands. And this one particularly, I don't like much because it's, uh, if you can see the result, let's put it in camera. It's like that. I don't know how to say yeah. in English. It's, it's well, it's yeah. cracking. It's, yeah, cracking. it's cracking, yes. So I don't know, uh, today I have some water and I have some uh, baby oil mm -hmm. that helps uh, with that. I will uh, do some um, like uh, experiments with that. Okay. Anyway, uh, from that I only have black and this uh, yellow orange and the rest is from this brand that it's it result very good it's for kids so it's really cheap and it was really good so what else do we need because i have um, a lot of things here you yeah. have if you have something like this it will help these are for a cake kind of things but you can also find some of these uh for clay and something like that so it doesn't have to be really really fancy what you need you can have oh. an old knife from the kitchen some Debbie. yeah sorry sorry chris Debbie is here too hi welcome hi Debbie. <laughs> okay yeah so whatever you have got at home the most important thing is yes, i think your course. hands to model basic figures and yes of course it. i mean yeah, you need Maxi some. Maxi is going out. Bye, Maxi. Uh, okay. Some acrylic oh. paint. Okay, what the brushes are for, are for uh, Chris? Well, that's if you want to add details to to the little creatures. You can uh, you can do what you did, Miriam. That is with different colors, uh, add the details, or yeah. you can paint the animal like completely this one i will need color. to paint uh-huh this is with a base color and then oh, with yes. brushes and things like that you can you can just add okay the details. but but you need that to be dry to yes paint, exactly don't you okay yeah it needs to be totally dry you cannot paint yes. the animal uh if it's still fresh yes because you, you're going to push it a little bit trying to hold the animal and then yes. well that's not gonna yeah. be good. it will be bleak. <laughs> yeah it will be deformed you can also use these little kind of tools that are for uh card making or flower making and these are good to produce dots like in this ah uh, yes i have i didn't find all of them but I have something like that. It's specially for to, to do dots. Yeah. I have a thinner and here, here I have another one that is a little bit more thinner. But anyway, I have really, really thin. I couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah, course. exactly. And if you don't have any of these, you could, and you have, for example, crochet hooks, you can use those. You can use. Yes, I have. I have you can this use one. Uh, pencils. Ah, I have two picks here. You can use uh, colors. You can use the tips. Or okay, the I have pencils. here some. So, okay, what I have on top of that is this one that it was for Fimo I purchased, but it's really good to do if I want to cover some surface so I can do with that. Yeah, that's that's that one is good. I mean, whatever that, you've got at home will yes, help you. Yes, of course, of course. You just, yeah, you just go and say, oh, okay, this could help me, right? And this one is also nice if you can get ah, yes, crazy I have. eyes. I have. Yes, so you can I add have. Your, your characters uh -huh. and you can just paint them. So. Whatever yes, you are. Yes, of course, of course. I have some uh, wire here because, uh, for instance, to the antelope uh, horns, 
I use some so the clay will stay with the form until it yes. dries. That's right. And that's uh, useful. And I have another thing that maybe we are going to use. I don't know where it is. I have what it calls an extruder. Mm -hmm. And uh, Okay, R Raul have a question. Is that a fox, tiger, cocodrile, aloe virge? Okay, uh, this is a tiger or uh, not a tiger, uh, another one that it's uh, similar, leopard. It's a, leopard. I think it's a leopard. A leopard, leopard, yes. Yeah. Here is a cow, here is a cocodrile, and here is a not a possum but another one like that i don't remember the name now but have the the paws and the ears okay and that's it interesting and this one it's a monkey maybe you can see better the yeah here mm -hmm. with antelope uh, horns armadillo body and pig um, tail and uh, legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I have. What's yours? Okay. Before I show mine, raccoon, well, raccoon. Raccoon. Mine, uh, yeah. this would be a good idea to uh, have uh, reference photos like the yeah. animal generator that you have. Uh, oh, yes. But the thing is that I have but you cannot put the same animals because um, you know uh, it, it's random yeah. generates random so we cannot have the same for uh, two of us so i think today or maybe later we can use it maybe you can uh, use your cards that yes. will be on the on your screen and i can imagine or put uh, exactly of, uh, an animal yeah this is this is one that i got last year and oh, okay. it's really really nice uh, i have a the, question the here are, are, yeah the creatures are, are mixed okay and okay. well this is something that we can use. So as yes, far as you have yes. a car generator or something like that where you can see your animals and then, then see uh, the real <laughs> features of the animal, it would be good. Okay. And okay, then, Chris, Chris, before yeah. you continue, uh, if we have questions that I see in the chat, uh -huh. I don't want to not attend to that. So... Sorry if I interrupt you to answer a question and then you continue, okay? Yes, no problem. Okay, okay. so Raul, no, Barbara was, uh, Raul said it's a raccoon and he is right. It was a raccoon that I okay. take for the legs and the, the, the antlers here or horns, I don't know how you call it. I put some wire first, the, this wire, Barbara is uh, like uh, already round, so if I need it straight, I need to straight it up, but I didn't because it was suit me that it was already round. So I cut, I put on the head, and then I did uh, like a thin, thin and a string, and I started to put it all around till I reach the end that you can see because i wanted this effect so i did it with uh, like an uh, envelope that mm -hmm. okay i hope it answers your questions and if you have more questions please only i need to um uh, to to do to to answer them when uh, chris does a break <laughs> so i can yeah well don't worry i'll i'm trying to put here my chat visible so i can also see who has got wow, a question? Okay. Yeah, okay. Anne was tell one was complimenting this one, like, "Oh, this is beautiful." Well, this is an original. This is from Oaxaca. This is the artisan Rafael Mendoza. My family got 
uh, this one and many more that are bigger cannot fit on camera from Oaxaca. This one is around. Wow, that's uh, incredible. Oh, maybe 20 years old, probably. This, wow, this, wow, this wow. bug. And it's something that you can dismantle, actually. <laughs> oh. So, <laughs> this, the, the antlers are just this. Yes, I, ha I have, I have this. <laughs> painted, made of yes. wood. This is carved on wood. Yes, and that's the, the, the beauty of the one. work. And yeah, it's, it's yeah. a bug, a really colorful bug. But alebrijes are not necessarily resembling uh, animals or just mixing animals like oh like tell us here. more about that yeah i'm going to show you another one let me just put this guy where my cat cannot reach it this is another one from mitla in also in oaxaca and this is probably something that you will uh, remember from the movie coco that they were kind of monster like Oh, so yeah, this one, I think that, yeah, you can also remove the parts, especially when you're moving and changing house, you need to like dismantle everything, but you can see all the different uh, ideas that a person can have to decorate these monsters. Yeah. Okay. Wow. wow. And this one, this one is taken from the original tradition of alebrijes oh okay. that's something <laughs> yeah really? that's right it's your and i have got i cannot manipulate that one it was impossible for me to bring it upstairs but uh later on i promise i'll take a photo i have a porcupine and oh. the, the body is made of wood but imagine yes. that it's like this small Ooh. And all, everything else is made of toothpicks. So, and it's really pointy. I mean, you cannot, you hurt if you try to hold the animal. So I just couldn't grab it. And I remember when we were moving, uh, I had to put that one uh, again together. And it was just toothpick after toothpick after toothpick. Ooh. I think it has got like 300 toothpicks. Wow. <laughs> it's just, it was just crazy. And of course, my fingers suffered. Yes, of course. <laughs> but well, is. so we learn about the original alebrijes. You need to tell us the story that okay. you... Okay, first, let's attend the chat. Mm -hmm. Raul said, so cute. Yeah. I like this the one on tiger well. from Coco. I don't know which what's that the tiger from coco yeah you know? the tiger yeah he uh, the tiger was uh, i don't remember the name of the grandmother or great grandmother but it was her spirit animal and it was the one that was chasing miguel throughout ah, uh, the okay. spirit world okay so eddie said so nice and lars said that one is amazing and stacy said incredible yeah, and I think ones. I have all the ah, but and Barbara thanks me and stays for the answer. Okay, what are we going to do? Uh, the story first, don't you? Yeah, very briefly. Okay, well, this is uh, a craft, originary, originary from Mexico, Mexico City, by the way. It's replicated in a lot of states. But uh, it, they can be produced with a paper mache, with wood, in this case. In some cases, like you did, the skeleton, if it's really big, can be wired. And, well, uh, it represents a kind of an ethereal, spiritual, fantastic animal. And... What is in reality the origin? Let me just go and open this one. Mm -hmm. Well, this um, originated in 1936 with Pedro Linares Lopez. He used to work with paper mache in here in Mexico City. He got very sick and he was kind of in a coma. So 
He was in that coma when he was around 30 years old. And that was life changing for him because uh, they were a poor family. They didn't have any resources to treat his illness. So the family was really, really worried about him dying. So they used uh, like homemade remedies, maybe, and that's my personal opinion, maybe that has <laughs> something to do because, you know, in Mexico, it's very traditional to use herbs, like, so mm -hmm. it could have been something like that. Uh, so when he woke up after some days or months, he told his family that he was in a very, very strange place but it was very beautiful. And suddenly he saw a donkey with wings, a rooster yes. with bull horns, a lion with a dog head, and all the animals were just saying one word, and that was alebrije. So uh -huh. they, were, they were just shouting, alebrije, 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 and that was it. So one of those animals uh, got close to, to, to him and show him a way where there was another man. And this man showed him the way out until he recovered from wow. his coma. So he remembered his dream. He started producing these animals and he was really, really famous. He was invited to the USA, to Europe, uh, he even uh, made some alebrijes for Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo. And his family still continues with the tradition. So that's, that's more or less the, the story of, of, of Pedro Linares and his alebrijes. You can probably, I have the article here in Spanish. But you can probably find it in uh, Wikipedia in English. And the story is fascinating. That's what really fascinating. I am in awe. Okay, I tried to put the link of Debbie and I couldn't find it either. Uh, okay. Ah, you don't have an active YouTube channel, Debbie. That's okay. Debbie uh, that's also said that it's fabulous colors and imagination. Yeah, that's that's the trick. Your imagination on how to yes, mix. Yes, I, I the think animals. that's it. Okay, uh, do you think we can start with something to show? <laughs> yes, what do you want to do? Do you want to do... I, I want to do an animal. Uh, okay. Let me see where can I put those. Let's put those aside because I'm going to do a new one. Okay, and we can use the cards then. Imagine. Let me also put mine Yes, away. I might have to wrote what you find. And uh, only if I have a pen <laughs> and a paper, yeah. a piece of paper. Huh? Okay, I right. think I found both of them. Which animals do we have? And, um, maybe this part is better. I don't know. Okay, we'll try to do that. Robert. Hi, Violet. How are you, Violet? Welcome. Hi, Violet. Good yeah. morning from here. Maybe good afternoon from another place, but there you go. Yeah, okay, here let me go and see. but they are in the United States, I think. Well, uh, Raul is in Spain, so it's afternoon for him, and the others, I think, they are from the States, so various yeah, hours, be... maybe, or Canada. Barbara is from Canada, yeah, still uh, early morning, so yes, of course, of course. We thank every one of you for being here so early and join us. Okay. Okay, so you have your cards. I have the cards and I have some that I have made my own oh. that have another another twist. kind of animal. Yeah, another type of <laughs> twist. Not necessarily very Mexican traditional thing. 
This one no. has got habitat. We might not use habitats because we're not going to draw like the animal. Yes, of like, course. In a place or something or create a diorama. Or I, something like I was about to do some uh, herb, uh, um, with, with something like an, an habitat, really, to put them here. And I have yeah. a, I run up, up, out of time. Yeah, I don't have space to put a habitat, so okay, mine, Marta. mine live in a shelf. I suppose they are happy there. <laughs> yeah, we'll one of my nieces you. took one, and it was not painted, but she took it, and she said she was going to paint it, but anyway. Okay, uh -huh, so, okay. yeah, what we can do here is just, uh, well, kind of flip this one. Mix this it well. Large, this is the large animal. So let's see what we have here. It's ready to be revealed. Let's try and do the same here. I hope I don't drop any of these cards when I'm mixing them. Okay, so this is In the, the other round, we can ask for the audience <laughs> to tell us animals too. Yeah, that's right. So that how we, can, really how we good. can mix them. Okay, so this one's ready. If necessary, we'll go for the detail because that would okay. be interesting. So we have, ah, oh, this is interesting. A rhino. A rhino would be the big one. Then we can take something from a grasshopper and a oh, porcupine. Talk about porcupines. You see, they follow me. I think I admire <laughs> that animal so much that it's it's kind of interesting. And I don't know if you want to play something with the tails or we just stick with with this. What uh, do you think? None of them have a <laughs> interest tail, so I am uh, on favor for a tail. Okay, for the tails maybe we should not do it blindly maybe we should ah, go and pick detail. something it's detail not the tails so yeah I, that's right i, I mean, misunderstood it's, <laughs> it's something like this is to do your oh animal. oh yes yes steampunk or steampunk I, I or robotic steampunk i like or I like. spotted i mean these are little little details i will tell you something if we are doing oh what happened if we are doing steampunk I am ready. <laughs> okay. I don't have anything of steampunk. So okay, that would okay. Be a let's do something bit else. Problematic. Okay. But I don't know. Spotted <laughs> yes, ones Violet. Violet, uh, it's telling me that it's details, one word, not what I heard that was details. Thank yeah, you, Violet. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, well, spotted ones are the typical ones. So, that's uh, the idea. But if you want, we can put here uh, the ones that you like. One made of oh. skeleton. That would be cool. I you have want one. skeleton? Uh, it's uh, very yeah. difficult to do. <laughs> this is we one. need to do the skeleton of all of them? That's the interesting part. We can do, uh, the, <laughs> the, like, for example, I'm thinking maybe the rear legs can be the skeleton. Ah, so okay. It could be, it could be an option. But okay. I have a lot, as you can see. So it's, okay. I'm, I'm going to eliminate the, the skeleton. What okay. we can do is you can tell me, like, stop there. And maybe if that is interesting. Okay, but do some, uh, let's do something that both can do, not uh, yeah, only that's for right. me, okay? Okay. So you you tell too. <laughs> I have an maybe, example of an skeleton. Maybe in the chat they want. Oh, Raul yeah. said no rules. Make <laughs> your own version, Miriam. Your imagination. Yeah, oh exactly. yes, that that could be something you don't know what I can do. <laughs> Let me show you one. This is not yes. mine. Okay. This is not mine. This is from a comic artist. But it okay. resembles a skeleton. It has got wire legs, and oh. this is clay. Huh. So, Love it. Go. Yeah. But this okay. is not mine. I so, got this one. Style. Okay. What style? 
Spotted, steampunk. Spotted, spotted scales. That would be escamas, bumps. bumps. Yes. Okay. Then something that is round. Oh my God, rainbow colored. Yeah, I, I am, I am all in favor for it. I have we a lot of colors. <laughs> this one, princess. <laughs> princess. Now that Barbie's <laughs> coming out, <laughs> do a princess. That looks like. Nightmare Before Christmas, says Rahul. Yes, yeah, and Violet right. said, for skeleton yeah. bones, you could make bony toes. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Only we yeah. need to do a large piece because to do the toes, for instance, this one, that is the raccoon, uh -huh. I needed to do really details here, you see? And I did it, but I'm not so fond of them because it was uh, something in, in, a, in a really, oh, here, in yeah, a really right. tiny scale, you see? The yeah, fingers. it has to be really big. So really, imagine really big. the toes on this, and uh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> really yeah, nightmare. That's right. You'll have to use, uh, I don't know, it will be minimal. Uh, I don't know how to do an alebrije nerdy so maybe this one wouldn't be a good idea we can put mustache, mustache. <laughs> okay. muscles if, well they all have well muscles. we can do a muscle animal i i think we can yeah a movie what else poster, i don't think this one works that much well in the meantime i want to read the chat Barbara, uh, Debbie said, kids would love to make this too, and she is right. Yeah. Uh, this is Barbara, good for kids. Yeah. Barbara said, uh, at Raul Reynos drawing, it sure does. Uh, I think she's uh, talking about the do my, ah, the looks that uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, what you showed. Okay. And Violet said, Nerdy good be like with a book and eyeglasses. Wow, I love it. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Do you want to? It could be. It okay. could be doing it nerdy. Okay, okay, so let's do this one nerdy and we are going to save maybe muscles. Ah, you have nerdy. I so have let's, nerdy. Let's do that. And muscle for the the other one for the next one. Okay. Let's so we don't them. need to choose uh, again. Okay. We all we we all, we all, we just will choose the animal. Okay. Because otherwise it will be just too much to go through all the details. I mean, look at that. Oh, Barbara said that she thinks the name the name of the dog was zero. And Rahul said the yes, it's zero. Barbara draw him last Halloween. Oh, he draw the same uh, dog. The rhino is already muscled like a joke. Yeah. That's <laughs> yes. right. We yes, can Rahul. add this one. Okay, mustache. Yeah, we uh, can add this one. Okay, okay. Is nerdy and with mustache. And yeah. muscles also no muscles for the no, next one. No, we put it away. The, 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 Let's this start. One is already sturdy Let's start. and big. Okay. Uh, which color is a rhino? Because for me, it's like gray. It is gray. Okay. It's gray Black. color. Let me put this away. Yeah, me too. Let's choose the clay. So I use a silicone mat because uh, that's how I left it with it, it's not a uh, glue to the um, to the table. I will put okay. anyway some oil in my hands. So the clay I have here in my hands it's not gluing anyway. Okay. There. You're going to go directly into modeling and I know yes. what I do. Is it's that I sketching. Sketch the yeah, I have it in my mind. I can sketch it as I think, but in that case, I might better put the clay 
into the bucket again and um, clean my hands from the oil. <laughs> or, we, or you can do your, your own no, process. No, we no, can no. Show like, like the different things. No. Oh, so, how to do it without drawing, you said? Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you already have the animal, like in your I have an idea in, in mind my mind. Eye. Yes. So that could be an option. I yes. have I have something similar that I did before, but I don't have here porcupine okay. burr. But I would like to go with first with the body. Okay. So I think So I am going to do it like you said. You draw, I am going to eyeballing. Okay. I need some I need some white. I did some colors yesterday, so I saved them in individual bags. Bags, yeah. Like uh, uh, the, the, the browns, that it was very uh, important to me to have browns, and I have. And uh, this one I didn't put inside again to the bucket, so I put like that. And here is my white. It's not a lot, but we'll we'll use it. Mm -hmm. Oh, see. I, I know! I know what I can do. I won't use. That. I am going to use the. Let's try with. Pink. Here I have also some more rest of paint from a lot of colors that I made. When I made, uh, especially I, these ones I purchased lately, this mm -hmm. one I have more time, and those I did with uh, mixing with acrylic inks. So now oh, we need only the only the blue because I have other colors, not blue. Blue I couldn't uh, find, and also I couldn't find the the white. That's why I'm with that. I'm trying to save it until I found again. So what I intend to do. Oh, Raul said hi to Caramel. Wow, I... Oh, okay. She's hearing people, like... Yeah. Uh, this one has yeah. got a hump here, but I'm not sure I'm going to use all the details. I'm just going to use the wings of the grasshopper. And ah, that's, that's it. And I here. want the legs. Those legs are something that I am... But I don't know if I, I'm going to use it because I want to do my rhino because he's um, reading. He will be sitting, not standing. <laughs> yeah, I was planning to do it sitting, but I have problems with with the rear legs. Oh, so. I'm now needing the, the pink with a little bit of... Um, black so i think it will be a nice gray a gray that goes to a little bit to violet maybe i don't know let's see because of the pink it won't be gray gray and maybe it's a gray we like The thing is, use what you have and try to make it work. What I can do is to have part of it that it's already, you see the color? So mm -hmm. I am going to have part of it and then, yes, I am going to put some white. In that case, that those I can put out. In that case, I will have um, another gray color, more uh, light. 
so I can combine in different parts of the body. I don't know. Let's see your... <laughs> ah, the, the, the rhino sketch. This is yeah. literally a monster. Literally. Oh. But I'm going to use the nose and a bit of the face of the porcupine. Ah, the okay. Yes. This is the little bits of hair before the spikes. Hmm. Okay. I wanted to show that I am going to mix two, one with less and one with uh, uh, more gray. So let's see what I can achieve. That pink looks like cotton candy, yes, and have the consistency also. It's uh, more uh, airy than the other brands. Okay. So I think I have an idea here. Okay. So. I'm Can you the nerdy part. Uh, leave, please, uh, take out the nerdy and mustache card so I can see the animals. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me eliminate all the cards because they okay. are just moving around. Yes, okay. And so you see here, here I have white gray, not on it. If you put on it, it will um, glue together. So beware to put it aside. Now, now uh, wait a minute, we have a lighter green and uh, gray, mm -hmm. and uh, this is plain gray. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Like Just it. joking. It's very pleasant to the hand, this kind of clay. And... Uh, Going to change this. You, you know, I I found out about this in your stream, Chris. You use it, and mm -hmm. I was so intrigued that I started to to look for it, and I'm very pleased. So I have three different uh, gray. These two ones are very similar. Maybe I need to put some more of the black in there. Let's do it. Okay, and I'm hope it's not. Okay. Yeah. Of course, we can do a pink uh, animal too. That's it. A... Oh, yeah, it doesn't have to be the color of the animal. Yeah, sure. of course. That's why I like now I, have. I like working with white for yes me. yes because then I can paint it in all these different variations <laughs> yes very satisfying Caroline how are you good morning to you hi Caroline how are you today we are doing here Ale Brijes. We are embracing the world with Chris, because if you go from her house to mine, one way or the other way, so you embrace the world. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're like traveling around the world with not only yeah. our own streams here, but with the visitors, with the viewers, oh, the of course, who watch of the, course, the of replays. course. Ah, don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> so I have three colors now. This is more gray, gray, but uh, dark. This is, and these are more uh, purple gray. And I'm going to use them now. Okay. I'm so, not going to make a big one. I'm going to make a small one. Yes, me too. Me too. But this is another tip for for you guys. If this is too too light and you think your animal will fall, you can use river rocks 
and you can uh, use this one also as part of the sculpture. You can ah build. in the middle, yes. Yeah. Yes, because this uh, clay is too soft and have no weight. Yeah. So exactly. the animal needs to be very balanced, or it tilt. And yeah. Okay. That's my body. <laughs> That's okay. my body. Okay, let's put the rocks down here. And the toothpicks somewhere here. I'm trying to decide which one would be good. No, these are not yeah. very well balanced. Yes. Let's do the animal pose. Yeah. One. This dries very, very fast. So make sure you yeah. cover your, well, your package. Make sure you close it <laughs> or it will dry on you. Here we have a song war between Barbara and Caroline. And Violet <laughs> said, river rocks to help weight the animal. Yes, yes, yeah, that's exactly. exactly. What I do okay. is that I cover my rock. Okay. And I do have water here, just in case I need to smooth this. Mm-hmm. I try to do the soil of the uh, legs in another color. I don't know why I like that, that. I'm going to do it a teddy bear rhino, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, that's right. I'm not so sure if this is going to be end up looking like a rhino, but Oh, we'll try. Yeah. I can do the wings of the grasshopper and the, all the that. Let's do it now. In a minute, I will show you what's my idea in my head. You cannot see it until I use it. Let's use the other gray. Barry. So I am doing like that to form the um, arms, or maybe I can put, yeah, I might do something very, very, this is the, the good one, you see? how mm -hmm. it is, this is the consistency of that. Ah, yeah. As, and uh, it's really good. You don't need anything to mold it. Yeah, that's right. And it's, it they, looks similar to this one. Yes, yes, they, they are. Okay, what I am going to do now, it's the grasshopper uh, arms. Now maybe I will need that, but with another. I, I have one because this one it's like spaghetti. Uh huh. But I have one that have only one hole, and it's a little wider. Let's see, I have a lot of them with all sort of. Have this one and this one. I think between them, I will try to do it. Uh, this one have one hole, oops, here, and this one also, but uh, this is a, a little bit tinier than that. I think I'm going to do with that. Let's see. You put that here for those who did not use the extruder first. Then you do some room here with that. 
It's a mechanical, it's a manual one. And you put here inside the door, whatever you have to. If you need more, you need to do room. So you open it like that. So make some more room here. But I think, uh, yes, we, we will be doing here that expands like that whoppa, and that make us room for the other one part of the clay mm. that's it no more now you put this part that have the inside And you start to, you see how it's formed? Like perfect. And I am going to do more. I'm going to do all the clay. And that's it. We have something that I can mold further. Because exactly. I need a little bit. Maybe I will use uh, another time one uh, more tiny hole. But it is almost perfect. Let me see the hands. Okay. What, have, what have in the termination of the hands that animal? Which one? The grasshopper. The grasshopper. Uh, let me put it close and let me answer Caroline's question. We are doing... Okay. Um, Hi, Belinda. Activity. We are making alebrijes, Caroline. And those are typical Mexican artists, uh, art crafts made of wood. They are fantastic kind of monsters. It's a mix of like animals and you can see that one in the shape of box like this one that you can recognize or they can be monsters these alebrijes appeared uh well they were known widely uh, from the movie of coco disney's coco and that's the story of miguel and his trip to the land of the dead. So there you go. Uh -huh. Hi, Perfect. Belinda. Okay, Welcome. so I am going to take that out if I can. <gasps> wow, it stuck. Maybe I need to retract that. Yeah, now it's not stuck. Now we can uh, save those for the porcupine but you need to always clean inside because if you use another color uh, this easily will mix with the color you have so what happened with the grasshopper hands oh i see i see yeah and are you going to you're going to use them yeah 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 but and if i am not right i will be right in my imagination that's perfect i did like yeah. that i found them complicated that's why i decided With not to use the, oh, no, the, I the hands i am going to because they are uh, anyway um they have a um a book that I'm going to do right now. So I think that it's okay. The book will uh, will, will give them the stability. I am okay. going to put this grace in here because I need to do still the um, face of the of the rhino. Mm -hmm. But but I want to, I don't know why, I, I, I want to do something else. So 
it's very important to close this uh, bucket or the envelope okay really well and to put aside if you have something like i had the green put it again on the bucket so it won't oh what happened to my i lost one arm oh did you maybe see you where it, it, go? it went i don't know i, I might didn't, i didn't see that one no just... maybe it's in the floor Never. No, anyway we are going to do another one <laughs> You can see the yeah, rock you know, here. I, I see it now. I see it now. It's inside. <laughs> I did that. Well, this what one, this one is say? sitting down. It's going to be very, very deformed, not very realistic. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> it's that's okay. That's the idea. We are sitting playing. There. It's a very chubby. It's a very chubby rhino. Chubby? That's uh, okay. They are chubby. It would have been very difficult to do something uh, kind of muscular here with a lot of muscles. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, definitely course. not. To exaggerate the muscles. Ladies, after how many hours the clay foam get hardened? Yes, yes, um, Raul. This is minimum one complete day, 24 hours. Yeah. Belinda, I said hi, but it was uh, talking uh, Chris at that time, so I want to say hi again. And um, Chris, the back looks like a toad, said yeah, uh, Raul. That's right. And Martha yeah. said that's a great idea to use the rock as a base for the animal. And Belinda said, Violet, we are having heavy rain, thunderstorm now, might lose power. Oh, Belinda, I hope no, but you know, we are here if you are coming back after that. Let's hope not. Okay, again, I'm doing that because inadvertently I put that in here, maybe. I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure. I yes, thought I, I see it. Go ahead and create your clay imaginary animals. This is good. This is relaxing. And yes, if you have even a piece of paper now, and uh, if you don't have clay, it's okay anyway. I am going to cut, and I use a cutter for that. So I'm going to do it at the same uh, measurement that the other. Only I need to center that, and then I cut like with a cutter. So I have a neat cut and not like a starting to fight like that to 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 break it. And uh, I have the form, the, the form, deform the form. <laughs> okay, <laughs> something like that. You understand? Okay. Yeah, it's so. difficult to to give instructions when you're in a creative process you know whoa 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 that's sometimes i find myself that uh i'm not talking <laughs> yeah i i literally stop talking when that happens to me yeah but uh, most of the time it's okay see this arm it's starting to dry also already Okay, let's do the, I'm going to put the extruder aside for a while, and let's do the book for the nerdy. So inside the book will be white because have the pages there. Maybe it's a journal and it's coffee dye, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's very detailed. Yeah. I'm now glasses here, so oh glasses will be, but I'm going to use the extruder, or maybe I will do that in with. Uh, I think it will be better with the extruder than uh, to do with um, with wire. So to form that in wire, it will be very difficult. 
So let's uh, put some of that, that are rest that I put together. And uh, what I have now, it's a multicolor one. So we are going to do the cover for the book. Okay. So I'm going to do something. Miriam, uh, I think Kim would like to see this also. Yes, but is Kim here? I don't think so, Raul. But yes, yes, she can, uh, if she cannot make it because it's too early or she had preview, previous engagements, she always had a rerun. We are going to maybe uh, talk to her after the stream. Or someone could send you even, could DM her if she is uh, not busy, she can come. Yes. That's right. Yeah, the okay. chat takes like four hours to appear after, no, after no, you it's finish not, the stream. It's not but... like that. Not Chris. I have my experience and our different experience. Uh, the chat, the, not ah, the chat. Uh, you say not the stream. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the stream you. is normally available really, really fast. It just takes like a couple of minutes for you to replay, but the chats take uh, like around four hours for them to be yeah. released by YouTube. I understand. So I might need some. Toothpicks. Yeah, that's Let's right. See. I found some. Uh huh. I found yes, some too. Yeah, I have here. So and you can put in here. Just make sure you hold both. If not, one of them is going to be flying all around. And I think my arms are too large ones. So I am going to cut them. Again, I cut with a cutter like that. Tiny one, you can use uh, a bigger one. I, for instance, have one for clay. That is this one. And it's very useful because you can round it and cut. Oh, you excellent. don't need to do it straight. Uh, only that it come without anything, so you need to put something on the end that it's not a cutter, so you be sure, be safe holding it. But that cut like that, I'm going to show in this one that it's a rest that I have. And if you do like that, okay, it's not uh, close enough. Okay. 20 minutes like Maybe. that yeah i'm not going to put a lot of spikes because i want to manipulate this animal okay you can With see that i'm traumatized by the porcupine yes that i, I want to put downstairs. some spikes too but i don't know if i'm going to make them only with uh, that with a toothpick Let's try to put the arm on the toothpick. It maybe will go out a little bit. You can put, uh, rearrange the clay. Let's do the other one. Can you show Caroline the foam clay that you got from Amazon? Because that's the one ah, that yes. you mentioned yes. that, that it was available for the majority of, of the people here. Of course, of because course. she's asking. I will. I will in a minute. Only that that will be okay. After all, it's not a grasshopper, or yes, I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. It has to be fantastic from your imagination. Yes, so nothing course. is correct or incorrect. <laughs> so this is the forming foam moldable foam from Pixies. I bought this in Amazon. And I think they have a lot of colors. 
it came out here. It says how much is no, no. I, I am amazed. Ah, here, 300 grams. Ah, that's good. It's from American company. Because yes. I got I got 50 grams here. I know, I know. I have envelopes of 50 grams. I, I, I couldn't find them. But see the difference between the buckets? Mm -hmm. I don't want to manipulate a lot because I have the... My, my animals here, but it's really, really, and this one, if you can uh, go to Michael's or any place, I think you will find that uh, for kids really, really cheap, even cheaper. Maybe in Amazon you can find that. The, yeah, the one is not like branded like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put aside my cutter because it's dangerous. I am dangerous yeah. with it. Violet is asking if she can link uh, the product in the chat. Oh, yes, of course. If you can, Violet, it will be so useful for us. Yeah, because our, the, even though this is, is not really staining, uh, well, I don't know about yours, Miriam, but the, the ones that I have here in Mexico, if they are a different color than white, they stain your hands. So. Um, no, this not. See, I am working. I mm -hmm. stain my hands if I need a blue, and then I do it with that. If I put a, a drop of that inside, uh, I want to show you how I did, because if I do that, even yeah. though it, this is a gray one, because I don't need a lot, I will show you how I do another color. I showed you before how I do with two colors of clay that I already have. Like this one we form with pink and black. But if I want to give it more um, blue or bluish color, I put like that. It's like do a, a small ball in your hands, not a lot, but that the drop stays inside and not, not to go outside. Then I put one drop or whatever I need to color. I usually start with a drop and then I am going, um, yes, yes, the, the one, uh, Caroline, I do that, I, I do a bit at the time. You see, I have a lot of colors already formed here and I put it in, in some nylon. So mm -hmm. you see, now I am staying my hand because the ink usually goes out, but um, I managed to, to keep almost everything here inside. And now we have, when you are finished, because I purposely do, did that in a gray one. So now, if you see, we have gray, that was the original, and we have a blue, blue gray. So that will be for details on the rhino, maybe the horn. I can yeah, do that's it right. with that. Yeah, we're showing like different uh, methods. Of Caroline. course. Yeah, I like working with um, white foam clay because then I can just go and paint it. Hmm. And Miriam likes using like clay from different colors to have it already like painted at the same time. So. That's yes. the interesting thing. <laughs> you can use Let's, any of the methods. Anything. Of course. Works. Of course. So I need, I try to do now, let's see, uh, plastilina. Okay. It's not plastilina, Raul. The plastilina was the one she showed at the fair, at the, at, at the beginning. She showed, I think, plastilina. And yeah. 
she said that she puts, oh, that's beauty. She said that she puts um, uh, glue. glue, glue on it. So it hardened like this clay. So this clay find... is foam clay. It's not plastilina. Yeah, it's different. It's like a, 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 a distant uh, relative of the foamy that you we used. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can find an example here. Okay. Let me see. I got, I'm streaming from the studio, but I have everything in boxes. This is the normal one, Raul. This is modeling clay. A plastilina. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yes. what you need is to harden this one, you need uh, glue. So it's not the same as polymer clay, but I think, Violet, that you can use polymer clay and it might give you a, a faster result. But this one, it's practically, I'm going to eliminate the Y that is in, in here, but it's foam clay. It's totally no, no. different. It's totally different. This one, it's uh, the polymer clay, Violet. It's a material that you need to put in the oven in order to dry it. And once you take out of the oven, it's dry. It's done. You can add clay if you put some uh, sculpy uh, liquid uh, clay, then you can uh, add there, but uh, it's cured when you took it from the oven. Okay, I yeah, did right. a lot of things with that. But for instance, I used to do jewel jewelry with that. I still have it, but it's so, so uh, uh, heavy Mm -hmm. that I made two earrings that were really, really, I have them. It's like a, an anana, like all the, it's round and have all the, the pieces, one, like, like scales. And it was really, really, it is really, really nice, but you cannot use it because you cannot hang that from your ear. Yeah, it's and there's something, heavy. yeah, there's something special about this clay that it's very sticky. Uh, when you put something close to to what you are working, you cannot detach it easily. So it's a very sticky. yes, yes, it's sticky. And what Violet says here, she maybe prefer to use this clay because of the hands. It's something that. We all have, I, I think we all have, uh, almost mm -hmm. all, we have some arthritis, some uh, difficulty with the uh, fingers. If you are like that, yeah, or, uh, it's, it's the best because it's really soft to use. And after that, it's really soft in your hands and it's unbreakable. Yeah, that's right. So let, me, that's, let me give you a demonstration. This is... Yes, this please. is the modeling clay. So this this one. Okay. And this one, apart from that, is very oily. And look at how hard it is just to soften this one. And then when you add the glue, it makes it very, very sticky and eventually really, really hard to work. So not a very good idea. But if this is the only thing you have, you can use it. And now look at this one. Look at how easy it is to manipulate. Oh, yes. Okay. This one will not dry. It will always be kind of hard, but always soft. And this one starts drying the moment you take it out of the package or the container. So you have to work yes. fast. You can put some water if it's not dry uh, all the way. And you can use the water as I did now to glue it, to put two together. Anyway, you might need some 
help from a tool like that. I hope you can see what I do. I a little bit of the horn I am putting here. So it won't separate. That's because I did the two of them uh, early, like this one. So it's a little bit uh, dry already. Mm -hmm. So I'm not in the chat, uh, Chris, because I needed to put a rhino on my iPhone. Okay. So please uh, let me know if there is a question or, of a, or a comment. Or yeah, someone right. new. Well, Violet yeah. says that, yeah, arthritis is uh, a problem. Yeah, for most of us, it's a problem. So definitely go for something soft that doesn't hurt your hands. Use tools to help you out. Uh, it's the best thing to do. So let me see what else I have. Then uh, Raul, uh, Violet put a link from Amazon to the clay that Medium got from Amazon. So you can probably get that one more easily. Not an affiliate link. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oops. This one is going to be hard to put, but Let's I hope it's not impossible. Years. Let's do the ears. I wanted to do the the horn more like a pick, but I couldn't. Okay, let's do the ears of the rhino. You're going to do ears. I'm going to do the mustache. And yeah, I oh, think the mustache. Will I this almost. One. Oh, I almost forget the mustache. Okay, let's do. Mine like is that. going to have a Dali mustache. Oh, yes. I was thinking the same yeah. because it's the most... And I'm going to be using crazy eyes, so he will definitely look like Dali. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see if I can do... I did like a triangle, and now I'm going to bend it to the center. And put it here. And the other one, it's too little to see, but I bend it to the center and I put it here. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Now I need the ice. Ice, ice, ice. So let's do. <laughs> Very funny so far. Let's they do are, eyes. They are funny things to do. And the moment you add the details, it's like, oh, I can add oh, this yes, extra. Yes, yes. And it might not look exactly what you imagine sometimes, or in my case, what yes. I sketched. But yes. the important thing is to have fun in the process. Of course. Okay. I'm trying to put this close to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I want to do yellow pipes. Oh, oh, there you I... go. <laughs> yeah. Now you know, you see how I jump from one thing to another. I didn't finish the eyes. I think I started them and I found the extruder and said, oh, I need to do spikes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ah. let me read some comments here. Okay, yes, Raul please. says that he will do Alebrijes too and mythical creatures as the Mayan snake dragon, right? Cats at call. And yes. Yeah, that would be cool. Okay. And Violet says, oh, that there's a creature uh, on virtual reality that looks like mine. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> I always say that you cannot invent anything from scratch. It has been done before. Okay. 
Yeah, that's right, Raúl. You can work here in any any size. I mean, the real alebrijes, the real alebrijes can be these miniatures. Or if you are in Mexico around October, November, Museo del Arte Popular, that's the Popular Art Museum, organizes a competition of alebrijes and they organize a parade and those alebrijes can be two or three meters high. And they, wow. the parade is just amazing. And later uh, on Reforma Avenue, and that is very close to the museum, they display the small little carts. So, and you can find videos on YouTube about the alebrijes uh, that are the monumental alebrijes. So it's, I mean, you can work any, any size. Okay. I saw first time the alebrijes <laughs> in a program, a Netflix program that was a reality that uh, they need to do anything with um, like paper and uh, it was an art that they do and uh, you have masters in that really master oh i i made a mistake with the masters oh, mistake no in the placement so i cannot see the mouse let's open the mouse again and let's put it how, how it need to be and that's it i have my mustache <laughs> okay eddie says that eddie says this i'm over at my desk working and i'm literally laughing out loud at the two of you <laughs> well imagine what? we are having a lot of fun Yes, of course. of course. This is very, very <laughs> creative. And the idea is that you also are having fun at home. I think and then you so. try this. You try this. I tried to do something. We didn't talk about it, but that's what I have in my hands. Let's do some. If we did the mustache, I am going to do some uh, hair. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, why not? Of course, I need my eyes. Yeah. Because let me show you something. I couldn't do it. Because remember that uh, we normally start mentioning like kind of the fancy tools that we need and this and that. Okay? Yes. And I haven't opened <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one is still sealed. Look what I'm doing it with a toothpick. So if yes. you're good sure. with your imagination and you want just a very simple thing like a toothpick, it would be cool. Okay. Yeah. Let me try and read Raul's comment. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. I, I need to go back, but I need to finish that first. Let me just put it there. Okay, so Raul says that uh, this festival is like something that they have in Valencia, there in Spain, called Las ah, Vallas. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Violet, it is, it is a beautiful, beautiful parade. I mean, all the families are there. Uh, they do the parade in the main avenue that is Reforma is one of the prettiest avenues in Mexico City and they parade there and then they leave the animals there so people can go and take selfies photos it's just it's just a, a big big thing and you can participate not as an individual but as a school or like an organization or something you can enroll and I think this enrollment starts in August next month so you enroll and you have like a month and a half or around six weeks, six, seven weeks to produce your alebrije. So some of those workshops uh, have videos on YouTube on the process, how they create their creatures. And when you see them and you see this beautiful monster, two meters, three meters high or even higher, 
uh, it's just amazing. Like all the hours invested. I mean, what we are doing here is just like <laughs> nothing. <I don't> know, <laughs> nothing. It's like a fetus of one of those, no? But anyway, <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, it's there's no way I can produce something that is bigger than 30 centimeters here. I mean, I don't have the space to to keep it. It's just impossible. Let me see if I can find my wire because I have the material, but the problem is okay, in which box is my material. I don't know if it will, if I'll be able to do the wings like I wanted, but let's see. Yes, the wings, the wings are something because uh, the porcupine, I will need to put some uh, toothpicks and uh, I don't know, I cannot do little ones even with the extruder because of this clay glues with uh, itself yeah so let, nice. let, let's go back to the chat okay here i am yes caroline i'm using a river rock i normally use them because this clay this foam clay is very light so your animal will not have a weight so this one has got a rock in there. The legs don't have anything, but just the body, the main body. And from there, I just cover it and I'm sculpting around it. But yeah, it's a river rock, any size. And you can take it as kind of a shape of, of the animal that you want to do. I will try to do spikes but I'm, I'm not sure about it here because of my mistakes we have yellow on everywhere i can paint over that that's not a problem it has not so much you see that that was stripes now mm -hmm. it's only one thing I need to do the stripes again with my cutter but that's because we take it in our hands and we you know first of all we need to do to see how the clay behaves and yeah. the other in the other hand I, I'm not pleased with that but uh, I don't mind it's what it is yeah let me answer, uh, Raul. No, it is not possible for one individual to participate. You need to be a collective of artisans. Because you, I mean, imagine having to produce something that is two meters high. Uh, it goes in a card that is like around five meters long, two meters wide it's just impossible for one person to do it. It needs to be a collective of artisans or it needs to be an art school because you need to have a lot of people working with that. It's impossible to, to have just one person doing one monumental oh, allegory. Oh, it's oh, not oh, possible. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see which color I am going to do the spikes because I found a way Okay, let's put this aside. I think I'm going to do them uh, red. Okay. I was red? going to use wire, no. but I cannot have my I cannot have oh, my pliers gosh. and my cutters. Do something. Oh, I have my pliers here, but I prefer to do it with uh, toothpicks. I will show you what I did so far. I tried one. Let's see. I have a toothpick and I have it tiny. Uh -huh. I did cut it already. Then I put clay, clay uh, around it and I start to form it. But not all the way. I need some of the toothpick out. 
that's it. When I am already like this is too much, let's do it thinner. Something like that. And then I can put it in here. And that's it. I think it worked like that. Oh, okay. It's not thinner, thinner spike, but we can do a lot. Okay, let's try more. I'm trying the wings on a different approach. Oh. I'm using small piece of cardboard that I folded. I'm trying to mm -hmm. cut like a double cut, bare steel joint. And I'm going to try and adjust the size. Bye, Caroline. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Caroline. A close up? Yes, I can. Uh, if I catch the camera. <laughs> Here yeah, is that's my right. rhino. My rhino is reading, doesn't have yet the have the the eyes. Okay, no, that way. Have eyes, but don't have the um, length. Mm -hmm. And have a book in his hand. His hand are grasshopper hands more or less <laughs> yeah the animals and the spikes i an made inspiration spikes okay yes of course it's not the same to work alone and to work in front of the camera yeah we can take that in consideration <laughs> we made excuses for our poor job So I cut in three, so I have two uh, pieces with the point, but shorter than half. So I have this one left I can use for other things, or maybe I can manage to use it also. Let's see. I grab some of the clay and I put it in the part that is not the point put it all around and then I start to form the, the spike like that. This part is not on the toothpicks and it's okay. Even if it's bent a little bit, it's okay too. So I have two spikes. Let's do more. You talk something about the rainbow, Chris. Uh, ah, that was thank a, you, Violet. Yeah, there was a like rainbow it. kind of detail card here. But most of these animals are very, very colorful. So they yeah. can be, they normally have kind of a blue or black coat. You can get to see that. And then they're just painted differently. What I like about this one are the claws, you know, and that is made of wood. I mean, this is yes, yes, this is a work on wood. Really it's amazing. Art. Anthony, Anthony Cody will love this. He yeah, that's right. Wood. Yes. Look at what Barbara says. Uh, she says, "My province is the polar bear capital of the world." Back in. 2005, there was a display of 70 decorated birds, seven foot tall. Oh my God, that's seven foot. Wow. Uh, that would be like, what? Seven foot, yeah, more or less two meters and a half, probably. I don't have wow. my converter here. Wow, but wow. Yeah, definitely. I would love to go and see this place like that. Yes. And in Canada, I would love to go and see the totems, you know. That would be. The totems? Just yeah the totems that would be so so that would I be fascinating know about that 
Yeah, we normally use acrylics, Violet. So we normally use craft acrylics. So probably you can use mate paintings. Like I think you have there in the USA, uh, the Americana acrylic paints, uh, the ones that Didi normally uses. And those are good for, for these things. I wouldn't use uh, artistic acrylics because the polymers are a little bit different. But uh, these are these are good, different colors. Okay, I need to add to the mustache. I, I cannot stand it. <laughs> <laughs> the mustache. Well, yeah. mine is there already. This mustache is yeah wow. No no, this mustache is not what I intended to. But what can I say? Normally what I it have is violet is small little things, different colors. This brand is Mexican and it's really, really good. And I like it. I use it also for More like drawings. Let's use some red. I want to use the red, so I'm going to do the tongue out. Oh, it's going to have a tongue. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mine uh, was lucky to have a, a very long, very long one. I don't think I'll have, I'll have enough space to put a tongue. <laughs> but I'm trying to give some frame to my wings. Let's see if it works. Because the moment I painted the wings just with a card uh, that is here, it will certainly get a lot of humidity and it will not be cool. Hmm. It will just bend. What well, the rhino have is a lot of police. That give us the opportunity to put around the arm like that. So we do the, and I am going to do another one. Because they have um, left uh, skin left. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I That's think what I'm going to do a trick here to harden these wings, but I won't be able to attach them probably right now. Oh. These, uh, you know, creative decisions you make in the moment. They, they must disarm. Don't they? Not necessarily. They're going to be, they're going to be fully attached but i need them to harden so that's, I think that's what to. i say if you put them now so they they won't they won't uh, stay in the same you know what you can do you can put some uh, toothpicks on them uh, in the position that you are going to put them on the clay yeah. So even if it's a little bit, in half an hour, your clay will be cured from outside. Then you can manipulate it without uh, problems. But if you put the toothpick, it will be easy to put on the overall uh, sculpture. Yeah, sculpt on the animal. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm going to I'm going to do that. Okay. okay. Then let me just answer Martha's question. Um which all art? Well, that one I think is a little bit different. Uh because yeah, it's a kind of made of beads and uh, something that we know as lentejuelas and similar things like that. But uh, lentejuelas maybe, are yeah, yes. maybe they produce um those are similar things. Oh my god. I Sequence. 
We have everything to demonstrate here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Between Chris and me, we have everything. I made a mistake cutting here. But uh, the witch all art is, is fascinating. There is a oh, yes. Volkswagen Beetle, a classical, a classical Volkswagen, uh, totally decorated with beads. And it's been touring the world, I think. So uh, I, I don't know where it is right now, but definitely, definitely worth seeing. Yes, of course. Lentejuela are sequels, I think, and, or sequence. And uh, beads are beads, of course. They are different. And I have some sequins that are uh, butterfly and one that is round that I use in my secret project for you to know that on the 22 at 2 p.m. Uh, Central, all the videos of the July collab, Fly Me to the Moon, will be up. And I am participating, so I hope I will see you or oh, see your comments cool. at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there you will see a sequence that is that big. <laughs> oh, interesting. That I use. Yeah. Yeah, I normally sit around and watch all the all the videos in the hub. Yes, I, I do the same. I can I can see them uh, before because of the links that we need to put a link so they you follow the next in the hub. So you have all the links in the descriptions. And I did it the in uh, May. Mm -hmm. But in June, I don't know why, I do prefer to, to see them uh, at the same time as uh, everyone. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to attach the uh, wings. In Mexico, you, you say uh, something else, Marta? Oh. She in Mexico when she travels, she's uh, so indigenous people sewing and making animal with beads, as she wasn't sure if they are called alebrijes. Yeah, I'm not sure also, but if they mention that, probably they just are using the same uh, concept. I think that the concept is not so much the medium you use to do them, but the combining of various animals or even people or mythological animals in the same animal. That's what it uh, do an alebrije, I think. Chris, mm -hmm. please tell me if I am right. Yeah, I think it's the concept. Yeah. Okay, I think it's a concept, but... You can uh, do I it mean, with uh, with beads and uh, fabric. You can do it. You can draw it. You can do yeah. it with clay. Uh, never mind. But uh, if I do an ant and only an ant with this clay, it won't be another brief. But if I take the body of an ant and I put uh, a penguin head and then I put a uh, bird wings and um, whatever you, you, you can imagine, an elephant uh, legs, <laughs> that's an alebrije. Yeah, and exactly. that would be a, a very fun one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a concept that originated in Mexico City, as we mentioned in, in the story, in the origin, yes. right? Close to Mercado de la Merced or La Merced Market. And it has traveled all around Mexico. So it's a concept that wherever you go, you're going to find someone well, let's working say that, with alebrijes. Let's say that it's not a original idea because we have in another cultures, we have the uh, chimera, mm -hmm. for instance. We have something similar. It's a mythological I think you have a dog head and uh, I don't know where the serpents are coming, 
but it's something like that. We can find Chimera in the internet. Let's see. Oh, yes, of course, Marta. Every, different tribes have different names for uh, any type of art. That's correct. Let's see if I can find a Chimera. Yes, here. It's a lion. You see, let's see if, if I can put one bigger. Let me see. I'm going to like that. You can see this is a chimera. Yeah. You have various animals and it's not a Mexican uh, thing. It's uh, another, but it's the same. It have the tail. It's like a serpent with the head on the tail, a lion that is very muscular, and I think it's a goat head with the with horns, horns on the back of the lion. So it's a very special one. <laughs> and it's not the, the only one that I, we have. So yes, yes. We took that as an alebrije because it's uh, Mexican and it's what uh, Chris used to do also. Mm -hmm. But we can do, or you can do any kind of combination and uh, call it whatever you want. Even a uh, marca, you can do it with uh, like a felt animal or uh, like a teddy bear or with beads, or diamond painting, everything goes. That's right. Okay, so I can put uh, two or three spikes more. I think two, maybe, because of the toothpicks. Mm -hmm. I forgot to say that, yeah, Barbara clarified that the totems are in British Columbia. Like more the native uh, population kind of thing, but they are amazing. I mean, oh, I have the way a, they a, look. I have they, a very they, bad story, uh, bad uh, tale in my story when I was a kid. It was it is a story of bullying. I was bullied um, in one of the schools I went from third grade in uh, the primary school and uh, because my skin is a little darker than the skin of the students there and uh, I think it was because it was a bully there and they find something it's not uh, that relevant what mm -hmm. and they start to call me when when we learn about the totems in the school, they start to call me totem. And for a long period of time, I associate the totems with something negative because of the bullying. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they so they, they told that I, I was so ugly that I resembled that totems that, of course, their faces were not uh, really pretty. Oh, Barbara is leaving. Thank you very much. Oh, Barbara, Barbara thank you. Thank you for your really comment. Really for being here. Yes, yes, and for participate. We appreciate that, Barbara. But you know, further in life, you know uh, that that is not relevant, that you are not what they say you are that yeah. they are bullies and you are a good person <laughs> and never mind what they think about you but yeah i i suffer a, a lot from that okay i think i finished I, oh I think... it looks so nice <laughs> mine See? is still in the process some... Because I'm, I'm doing these little things 
more than the spikes. The wings are going to be crooked, but... Oh, but it's okay. a something neat what you did with the, with the toothpicks and with the wings. I want to paint, but only details. That's why I do like that. Yeah, that's I why can you have do the colors. More. Yeah, so this one goes again to the bucket. Those I already saved here. I put in the nylon and I close it. Even if they mix, I don't mind because they are all gray and I don't want to use one uh, bag for each little piece. I did cl clean my extruder, that is very important. Yeah, because now, if, if it hardens, no, forget it. Yeah. It won't work. <laughs> of course. I have a little piece here. Ah, I, I did a, a tail. I don't know if it's the correct tail but I did a tail here. Maybe you can see better oh, like that. Can. Yeah, here. Well, rhinos go like kind of a cow tail or something. Yes, that's what that. I did. That's what I did exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's put that aside. Let's uh, give it uh, time to, to dry. What are you you finished already with yours? Not really. Okay. I'm just adding some details here so okay. I can later paint this one. Perfect. Of course not today is needs no. to but harden. we have something to paint today. It's not like that exactly. Let me put everything aside here. But we have what, uh, at least I have what I did yesterday, that they are dry enough. So That's I right. can, I, I this can. Has, this has been dry for a long time. Yes, yours. I made them in February. Really? <laughs> and then I just didn't have the time to, to, uh, to paint, paint them again. Okay, let's see. I, in, in the meantime that you finished, I am going to gather my material. To paint, yeah. To paint. I have a very bad one because it's not bad. I bought some um, brushes. This is Renaissance and this is Barbara. <laughs> they are hobby um, brushes. And the, oh, reason, okay. the reason to buy them, because uh, this one cost me 20, like almost 20 uh, shekel, and 35 shekel is one dollar. No, it's oh, $10. Okay. dollars. It's $10. 10 dollars. Okay. So that is uh, around, uh, I don't know, it's eight maybe dollars. And this one is 25 uh, shekel. That means that it's more like uh, from nine dollars, let's say. Mm -hmm. No, th this must be seven or six, and this must be eight. Anyway, I can grab the the calculator, but it's not worth it. What I wanted to say is that one really good brush could be, and ev every one of them like i don't know 15 dollars or so mm -hmm. and i have a problem uh, because of my mobility that is uh, less mobility i don't go and i don't uh, clean them after and uh, until i finish oh, okay so it's a problem because I ruin all my brushes. That's, be, that's why I don't buy good brushes. <laughs> but I have a project to do. I have already all the parts. What I need is a furniture to put them. Mm -hmm. It's like almost what you are going to put in a RV or in a... Like if you do the 
the project of the RV inside, and you do like one container of water and a pump that brings you the water and a sink that goes to another one of those containers. Okay, so, so I you have, can always have clean water. Yes, of course. And I can put like a bowl with a hole in it and a hose. And I planning to do like that, but I need something to put it on because it's very large uh, container mm -hmm. for water. But I, I, I already purchased everything. So I will have water in my station <laughs> oh, that's if nice. I need. Yes, yeah. that will be perfect. That and then maybe useful. I can I can buy some good brushes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, because that's the situation with acrylic. You yeah. have to be very, very careful with your brushes. Yeah. With other mediums like watercolor, even gouache, you don't need to hurry up so much. To I clean the tell brushes. you that sometimes I use more markers. If it's alcohol paint, I use alcohol markers. If it's acrylic, I use the acrylic markers. First of all, to do some uh, details because you cannot, like here, I need to do the eyes, okay? So mm -hmm. I rather have a white Posca like that yeah that one is faster definitely faster and it's and a more very accurate. nice white more accurate and how you say it's a very nice white so here i have the white and now i am going to grab if I can find it, because I have so much things here. I want this one. I don't think it will work. Let's see. Maybe, yes, it's new. Yes, yes, this one. This one is thinner than the postcards that I have that work. Okay. And I'm going to do only this detail. Now, you have a faith. If I want, I can do. Okay, I have here. I think we are going to try. It's a brown poster and it works. So, what I'm going to do is like around the eye. Okay, let me set this one aside. I think it's almost done. That's it. It's a little bit. And we can mark the nostrils. No, I, I might need to do it. Let me see. Um, normally I don't use a sealer, Violet. I, I try to keep this like in the original ones, they don't, they sometimes can have a uh, varnish, but these acrylics have a lot of, lot of plastic in them. So they really don't need uh, a sealer. And these ones were made of the same material that you saw, and they're very hard right now. They have stone but they are really, really hard. And this one is not finished yet, but it doesn't have varnish. It's just the plain uh, paint here. But if necessary, you can, you can go and use uh, any type of varnish. So you can keep it from dust or if you kind of clean them with a wet kind of cloth, that can help you. Let me make sure this one is closed properly because I like this one. This one that they uh, that I got yesterday, I'm not sure. Right, and then it's frozen too. So oh my God, I'm advertising Disney here. So 
not nice at all, I'll say. Now, let me find, I'm going to remove the cards here so they don't get any paint. Ah, yes, that's important. Okay. I am using acrylic uh, sienna, burnt sienna from Amsterdam, and it's a transparent uh, paint. And uh, here you can see it right there, this one. I put some here in the palette so I can use it. And sometimes I erase a little bit. I don't want it to be so dark. So I can put my finger on it and then you could have the intended thing that it's a shadow and not a blow of color. I did it here yeah. in the nose and in the uh, uh, around the, the eyes. That face is so human-like. It's really uh, good. This one, it's a yeah, baboon. It's really I took good. it from a baboon, so they are human-like. Now I need to do some uh, detail in the strips here, and I'm going to use the same color. I'm going to go inside I don't mind if it goes outside because we are going to clean outside. So it will hopefully have only color in the marks I made. I made that marks. I don't see if you can see it. Marks, let's put it here. You see the marks now? Uh-huh. Yeah. So I try to do, to, to put the color inside mostly. I, I did it with a cutter. Down. I cut like you do with the bread. Mm -hmm. And now. Yeah, that's how you can make very good effects. Yeah. And now I am taking off, uh, but only in the surface. So now I don't know if you can see, but all my uh, inside is from another color. It will be better in the picture, I think. Yeah, probably. Here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you cannot see it. <laughs> yeah, let it's me just like... tell. If you want to use these eyes, uh, you can ah, glue the them the eyes. right yeah. before. But I prefer to glue them as soon as this is painted, because what yeah. if you miscalculate something? And this is uh, like silicone glue or liquid silicone, so it dries faster than normal oh. glue. So this is another thing that you can have. Yes, handy. I have. I have here silicone glue, and I have regular glue. <laughs> yeah, those, those I are have handy things. Alcohol here. I have the this one. And by the way, these these eyes you can get them in Walmart. Oh yes, yes. You don't need to go far. Yeah. Well, that's right. I am going to put some gold. This is XTC gold. Ah, oh, okay. They made it here and it's really good quality. They give you the indication if it's uh, transparent or semi-transparent. I have a good result with that. And it came also in this dis display. It's not, this is uh, of course cheaper because mm -hmm. you have 220 milliliters in one of them, and in one of them you have 120 milliliters. But this presentation is better to take the paint off the jar. Here you might need a palette knife, and it's a, okay, and, and yeah. then and then you need to um, clean the palette knife, and it's a more complicated. So let's okay. do some gold. I normally use normal uh, stationery stores, Martha, 
uh, sometimes uh, I buy some of these at an Office Depot or Office Max. And in some other cases, my local stationery stores, they have everything. Uh, you're probably familiar with the local downtown or little town store that sells things for gifts and things like that, and then they sell stationery. Sometimes you find much better material there, including the, the foamy uh, things, right? Including this, these are, these, you can get this on like different stores. Well, in Walmarts, and right now that is the back to school thing. It's filled with crafty material and very soon very soon they're going to start having discounts so that's the time to go and get material well i am combining the brown the, the burnt sienna with the gold and i'm doing a little bit of both like that randomly to do the cow body yeah violet has got a question for us yes if have we ever used flocking fibers to add texture mm, i normally don't have access to fibers i only have yarn but i have not tried it it would be good like for example if you have a hairy animal oh, maybe yes. to use some uh, yarn um Yes, kind of things or you, you can combine this maybe. material with almost everything. You see us put uh, wire and put uh, toothpicks that is good. You can put other things of good. And uh, I think that put some fabric or fibers in it will be perfect. Now, I don't know if flock is the same that I used when I was a little and I was used to work in my father's studio, we did postcards that my father drew them from different sceneries on the on Argentina. And uh, we printed, we screen, screen print there, we printed with fluo colors but the background was black and mm, then okay. uh, beside the printer we have a large tunnel that we made that it was like electrostatic current inside mm -hmm. so after you print the, the last print the last layer we put it in there it have um a strip who runs, I don't know how you say, like in a factory. And okay. then the postcard went all over the tunnel and we have flock. We have a flock is like, a, it was like a powder like, but more dense. And uh, it's like a terciopelo. Uh, like velvet. Like oh. velvet, but in fibers. Oh, and then okay. the electrostatic current sustain the flock floating. Mm, then okay. you you go uh, the postcard go over that with the recent black paint in the background, and everywhere that the paint was uh, black and uh, fresh, the flock glues on that. So you oh, take that, yeah, you, I, I have a picture of the, unfortunately not, not the old concussion, but the postcard, I saved one postcard from my father and I will post it. You will see that the background is uh, velvety and that's mm. the way we did it. So probably that's the system. Yes, that system yeah. was to do something massive, like uh, 100 or 200 of them a day, okay? Wow. But yes, but um, 
you can do you can glue it <laughs> in a in, like violet says she she had a lot of fibers or yarn and the yarn you can uh, untangle and you have fibers too you you can cut it really really um, short and then you will have flock okay and it will be interesting to apply to the animals that i don't know if we need uh, um, glue or we can attach we can do um we can do it now a test i don't have i don't have handy yarn here with me i have here i but told you i have, I have everything around <laughs> i have everything around okay this thing this wheel that you saw it's uh made to produce dots but you can also use one of these things and this one has got a oh, yeah. black coat so I i'm going that. to just i'm just go around and produce some dots okay so i am putting on the uh, i'm going to put two of them one directly and another okay. one i will put with glue not silicone glue but regular one ah okay and we'll see what happens when it dries i will show you in the first at first glance even this was difficult to take out because it mm -hmm. was already in the clay and okay. this one i don't know if it's going to fall after it dries but we are going to experiment and see and wait for the facebook um, update about that yeah we should because sometimes on on video when you're manipulating this and sorry i get off camera quite often but i have to get close and see what i'm painting Right. I need a new yeah. prescription ah. for, for my glasses, especially well, for, to, to do something really, really close. Janice is here. How are you, Janice? Hi. Hi, Janice. <laughs> Violet, Violet, you can stop paying attention to me and you will have the rerun when you want to have new ideas you put this part and you say okay i did everything you inspired me to do now i need more ideas <laughs> exactly you can manage that so i'm doing the horns you call that antlers but i think they are yeah might be i don't know it's horn or antlers i think it's antlers when we're talking about box and insects i think okay but an but, antelope an antelope is not yeah, an insect that's right then some other some animals have them as well but then horns are for another animal species so i don't know okay we Sometimes need it's to tricky. someone know <laughs> yes yeah because unfortunately my biology knowledge is not very good Okay, I not even in Spanish or English. Janice says that ibex have horns. What is an ibex? I think it's kind of an antelope. Ah, okay. Kind of, I think. Kind of, yes. Okay, so it must be horns. We need a National Geographic now, and I have them on the other side of the room. Sorry. I'm not sure. I, I think there were antelopes there. Yeah, I don't have in a, even National Geographic here, so. I basic mountain goat deer. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mountain, I think Raul wanted to type. Antler okay. are shed regularly. Horns are permanent. Oh, Jenny, you give us a really... Um, a lesson here 
I love it. Okay, I wanted to use some of the paint I made because it will be dry anyway, if not. Maybe I'm going Sorry, to I do... have to I had to I had to stand up a little bit to tell my dad to go and have breakfast and Oh it's okay, it's okay, Chris. I am here. Because Let's everything go. is ready there for him yes. to eat. Anyway, we have another I think ten minutes to finish and another three or four to say goodbyes. Okay. And then we can all go to PMRT Studio Stream, that it's right after us. Or whatever right. you want to do, or wh whatever you want to do. Yeah, whatever we need to do. Of course. You might we need, have, to, we need go to go to your father yeah. to take care of him. I know. We need to Maxi ask uh, people in the chat to vote in case they want another session with Alebrijes oh, or yes, something else. Yes, yes. I, I am with you in that. So I am going now to do the coco drive first, the, the tail, and in the meantime, you can do it. Okay, so Are what, you do you, what do you think, guys? Do you want another session where you can have us together again and finish the Alebrijes that we started today? What, this one? Yeah, this, that, one. this one needs a lot of work there. And to finish painting. Yeah. So let's see. And we can try a technique with yarn on fibers. Yeah, that's right. That would be a good idea. Because I need to use the other part of the foamy that I opened, or it's just going to go really, really dry. Uh, yeah, you, we can do that. We can paint what we have. And we can do something to paint if you want. OK. For sure. Part, uh, Raul says, uh, for sure, part two, Chris and Miriam and Katrina's making also. Oh. That's an idea to make some Katrina's yeah. uh, with foamy. I need to find some white. <laughs> or just paint them. Oh, we I love just... how you paint it. Yeah, or we can just uh, paint them. Yes, Violet okay. wants to. Janice said it looks lots of fun. Okay, I think we are up to a second part, a sequel. Yeah. It so will sequel. Be... So, what do you think about next Sunday? Because I'm I'm free. I have like two three weeks of vacation. Oh, that's once I start the semester, it's going to be a little bit difficult. But right now I'm free. But it all depends on you. If you want to do your rags on Thursday and then have another stream on. On yes, Sunday? on Thursday I'm going to continue with my project and on Sundays I will be free for you okay. and for all of you. I, I'm really excited about uh, doing a stream with you to, uh, again. I really, really appreciate that I have someone to talk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting because sometimes you're just talking to yourself and yeah. <laughs> then you forget to read the chat and you're like oh i'm alone and nobody's helping me with the chat no raul did an ex like excellent job answering questions in the oh chat. you know violet is answering for those who have already go okay they, they are not here anymore with us <laughs> and Violet was excellent in putting links and also clarifying oh, yes. concepts. Well, and, yesterday, yeah. yesterday, uh, Violet, I didn't thank you enough. Violet in the stream uh, it was yesterday or the day before? The day before, she um, mentioned this stream in the stream of Fran, and I really appreciate that because I have. You know, I, I don't know if I do good or not, but I promote 
everywhere they give me the place to do it. Okay. But when I go to another stream, I hardly talk about my upcoming stream or what happened in the last one. Because I mm -hmm. think it's a, a thing of respect to the one who is uh, doing the stream, no? It's yeah. not something that I take it lightly. So I really appreciate, Violet, what we, you did. Yeah, I do the same. I hardly ever talk about the times I stream or what I normally do. I just sometimes oh. go impromptu and poof, there you go. Yeah. If I have two or three viewers, that's good. <laughs> yes, you know what? Uh, I have here the um, a comment between Janice and Violet. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, good love part two. Also, okay, we are going to comply. Um, Janice uh, talked with Violet, uh, telling or wondering if um, Fran will be interested in that, in this. So, wow, yes. It that would be, be good. so good that we can have even uh, different alibriches that uh, you made along the way. That mm -hmm. will be perfect to have a, a clone. <laughs> I tried to do something with green and blue. I know we don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to do the tail at least. I did scales here. You see? So to bring that to life. A yeah, little that's bit. right. You're going more realistic. I'm going into the dot technique. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm a little bit square. <laughs> no, I think yours look fantastic because they are very, very different to the approach that I'm using. Yeah. That is the typical um, painting technique that I normally see here with the artisans. This was supposed to be a horned turtle of certain kind. <laughs> That's okay. It's a little funny animal. Okay, so I have my two here and the one that I made today and the experiment with the yarn. And sorry, but this is a better placement. Here, yeah, that's right. you have everything I made today. Let's put you a little bit further so we can see the face of the monkey. Yeah, that face is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to show this one is still, this one is still very soft. I'm going to try and finish it because otherwise it's going to dry on me and it's not going yeah, to be easy to attach course. things. Of course. But this one is supposed to be a penguin with six legs and a manatee body. <laughs> so, there you go. This one, the ladybug with horns. They're fabulous. The tail. Crazy. Okay, and the turtle. Okay. And I have still here. Thank you, Janice. Yes, there are very yeah, the Porcupine bird. That's why I told you oh. the porcupines follow me. I love your spikes. What are so. they made of? The same material or? Um, no, wood? they are toothpicks. Ah, they are toothpicks. They are. They toothpicks. are a little big. Uh, okay. Oh, no, I see now. Well, I did mine with toothpicks, but with the. Um, it's a little less tight, but mm -hmm. a little more organic like that. I don't That's think. right. Yeah, but these are, these anyway. are very spiky, also the ones that yeah of of this guy, but if yeah, you do nice. something like that for kids that you can, yeah, uh, you cannot use the eyes or you cannot use a, a lot of um, toothpicks inside, but definitely 
you cannot use toothpicks in the outside because you know the kids they put uh, yeah it would be it would be dangerous for for yes, kids to use toothpicks and small pieces just well, stay with the foamy and and that's it i think we need to wrap it up that's say our right. goodbyes thank every one of you for the participation and for being here um I think uh, I thank you, Chris, for the company, for the co-host this uh, this stream. It was very, very. Oh, yeah. Sharon. thank you very much. Hi, Sharon. She, she, she just walked to say hi. I'm so you can glad. watch the replays and, and don't okay. forget to watch. Yes, and you to can watch our see, streams individually as well. You can see our. Alejibres, those two are the ones that were made before, and this one I made here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this one is for today. And uh, we will post the pictures of all of this. Yes. Um, let's forget... have a hashtag Alebriges. Yeah. Don't forget so... to watch Medium also on Thursdays. I'm taking I'm taking sun, um, Sundays I'm taking Sundays off in the morning because I don't have more time in the in the morning on Sundays, but I'm okay. um, streaming on Saturday. Ah yes, I saw that. Uh, what which uh, time? Because I almost always uh, miss you. I start at eight thirty Eastern. See you, Sharon. We are going to cut now also because we want to go to that stream. Yeah, we want to go to PM Studio. Yesterday, I, I started this one. If you want to watch my oh, replay oh, oh. from yesterday, yeah. this was my stream. I'm working with this dog, but hmm. it's going to be Saturdays right now at 8.30 Eastern. And I okay. normally stream for one hour and 15 minutes. It's not that much. Uh, 8 p.m. 8 a.m. a.m. Okay. a.m. 8 30 a.m. Eastern time. Well, thank you all. Thank you, Chris. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> bye, bye. See you.